What is going on, Loser the Classic community? One thing I am not is a drama queen. So uh, I'm going to take you through all the drama that's been happening, but uh, whatever. All right. So uh, if you don't know what's been going on over the weekend, and by the way, this gets a little bit weird uh, when you start to break it down, but we're going to start off with uh, how this broke down originally what happened, and then where we are, and then we'll get into our normal uh, banter, if you will. So first, first Happy Candy Crypto puts out this video, All Right Enough is Enough, in which he goes after Vegas. Uh, Vegas for uh, changing everything over on CoinMarketCap to include all of his socials, okay? Then... He and, and by the way, it's a 15 minute long video um, where Happy Caddy then says that and, and everybody has to pay blah, 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 blah. And look, if you if you support, I told you the other day, if you support that, continue to validate with them. If you don't support that, don't validate with them. Same thing for everybody else. If they don't do what you want them to do, remove your validation from them. Pay, make them pay a price for not doing what it is that you think is important in this whole ecosystem, right? So then that takes us to D Mr. Diamond Hands. Mr. Diamond Hands then goes to Terraform Labs directly, and they told me that uh, they made the changes to Coin Market Cap, and it needs to be updated on their side. So it's confirmed Terraform Lab made these changes, not Tech. Now Tech was somebody who worked with Vegas, so it was either Vegas or Tech, and that's who Happy Caddy was attacking. And then Mr. Diamond Hands uh, confirms that it was not, in fact. Um, that, that it was not in fact, however, however, that it was not in fact Vegas, that they were not made by tech, however, uh, he got the ball rolling. Now, what does he got the ball rolling mean? Well, that could be that they were trying to update the information they needed Terraform Labs in order to do that. So let's stick with that for just a moment. Then let's take it a step further. Then we flash forward on the 11th, and Diamond Hands is now saying uh, coin market cap individuals have changed the social media links on Lunk to their own GitHub, Discords, and Telegrams. We're not authorized to do it based upon uh, 12103, which is the governance proposal here, um, in which 12103 was giving all nodes the ability to make those changes and nobody else. And Fleece Cannon, which in this situation is Chris Amani, who is the current head of Terraform Labs, was overriding that and making the updates, but the updates were to Vegas's personal um, personal account, stuff like that. So um, there is something going on here that people don't like. Now, um, of course, Binance didn't honor Burns. They didn't, look, they, they do Burns, by the way, but they didn't honor the, the, any of the, the, the things that, for the community proposals that we've done, you know, they've not really done everything that we've wanted. So, um, you never know what some of these bigger companies are going to do. All nodes, uh, I assume that they have, but there, there's a there's a sticky sort of area here where there is no um, uh, that you know there there is no. And here's the thing: it, it, the, you have to do a government's proposal for every single thing, which is why at this point, uh, three years into this now, we have no website. So the website was just something that was propped up for Luna Classic over there. And, and none of these guys have done a website. Uh, nobody's done a website. Uh, Davinder tried to do one, uh, or David tried to do one. However, everybody voted no on it, or some of the people voted no. On, you know who voted no. Uh, we did this before. So we don't even have a website. So if you want to be, uh, if you want to, these people, all of these people, by the way, this this is not, it's not Diamond Hands, it's not Happy Candy Crypto, it's everybody. Everybody who's a validator has successfully not come up with a website. So how do you easily onboard people into uh, the Luna Classic community? Now, to me, it seems pretty simple. Uh, Terraport.finance <laughs> is where all the meme coins are being traded and where you can use fiat in order to on-ramp, in order to buy. Now, the, the problem with most people is that that's not exactly the, that's not the, the blockchain. This is something that's built out aside from that blockchain. Um, the blockchain that has no on-ramp, by the way, that these guys have been overseeing, so to speak, as validators for years now, and they still don't have an on-ramp. So how do you easily get into this ecosystem? Now, look, you guys 
are complaining constantly about we need new holders, we need new investors, we need new money coming in because you want the price to pump. Well, how do you get here? How do you get here? Um, easily, by the way, somebody who doesn't know anything about crypto, how do they get here? So we have problems that uh, this, this, this ecosystem um, has not addressed. They've, they've cried about everybody else's problems. They've cried about everybody else's situations, but yours they haven't addressed, okay? Uh, now, part of that has to do with building, part of it has to do with, with, with creating something out of a dead chain, which is, hey, fair enough, but you know, at the end of the day, that doesn't change the answer at all. How do you get here? How do you get to Luna Classic? That's the question. And how do you attract new investors when you can't even tell people, well, how do you get here? Uh, I have people constantly reaching out to me asking me, how do I buy Luna Classic? And you know, you, you've got some KYC exchanges, you've got some non-KYC exchanges, but it is not easy to just move yourself into here into this DeFi space. So we have things to work on. And some of the things that we seem to be working on are not, in my opinion, the things that we really need. We're not making it easy for anybody. Still no website, still no easy on-ramp. Here we are. Now, um, so after we go through this, Diamond Hands then goes through a lot of complaining about it. And hey, he's free to complain about things that he doesn't like. And one of the things is, Lunk Live won't stop holding these people accountable. And he's complaining about everybody who's not really condemning uh, Vegas Morph over these updates, which included his socials. Now, mind you, we've gone from this was not tech. Of course, that means it was not Vegas either. It was Terraform Labs. Folks, I'm about to stake 10,000 XRP in my Cryptonomy.Finance account for a nine-month yield. Okay, transaction complete. Let's move on to the next thing. Not only are you able to stake your crypto, not only are you able to earn yield off of new cryptos launching, you can also borrow stable coins, borrow fiat, and borrow crypto. Additionally, folks, there are several big things that are in the pipeline, strategic collaborations, the global unicorn selection expansion, uh, and then this drives significant returns by identifying and supporting high potential early stage ventures. And if you are worried about the market, don't be because Cryptonomy.finance is prepared for market volatility. They are playing both sides of this coin. Uh, they are going long, they are going short as the market allows it. And you, my friends, have an opportunity to earn some yield off of these. Go stake at cryptonomy.finance today. So then the question is, how did Terraform Labs get the information? Could Vegas have provided it to them? And that's possible. So we do need to account for that in this. But as you continue to scroll through here, and you don't see that, by the way, you don't readily see that in the explanation or anything like that. We just got uh, all of these blah, blah, blah. And then all of the accounts telling me to stop calling out the terrible rebels. Uh, that's my answer. Long community deserves the best, not these people who go outside governance, get them out. And a lot of complaining about um, uh, anybody who doesn't do it by governance, right? Now, <laughs> what is not being done by governance? 12103, which is, the, which is the proposition, which is giving all nodes the ability to make the updates and nobody else, right? So what does this have to do with all of the terror rebel? I don't understand some of that. Now, I know that there's some friction from the old days, but um, I mean, what are we doing? So um, again, let's keep going. Uh, so uh, Diamond Hands continues to go on about the terrible rebels, uh, which is the original, this is like the original ter terror rebels. Um, and then uh, somebody points out, hey, you know, we got 22 validators who are jailed, um, but someone changed the links to coin market cap without community approval now here's the thing so we got diamond hands sharing earlier today someone changed the links on behalf of lunk coin market cap what do we go over it's terraform labs so this is a confusing sort of mess and i don't think it should be confusing i think my, my best estimation would be that somehow uh, vegas they had vegas's information they updated it uh, but they had gotten started with trying to update it to begin with which is where the comment that was made about tech uh, starting the process uh, was going on so i'll clarify that for you guys tomorrow because we spent too much time on this and it's going to be time to move on but uh suffice to say that and, and by the way every blockchain has drama so it's just more drama 
right? Um, it, it's more, and it's a shame that there's more drama because you know the rest of the market uh, starting to pump pretty good, and Luna Classic seems to be going along with it. But you know we've been looking for a breakout at this point. But drama is the drama the reason that it's not breaking out? I don't really think so, but it does go hand in hand with problems and could and could cause some downward pressure when people get tired of the drama. So uh, that is a possibility. But uh, we're going to put a pin in this and we're going to move on because if you haven't already, you got to go check out Terra Casino for all your risk-based gaming. Um, that includes winning up to 1.2 uh, million euros from Evolution, uh, 2 million euros from the World Poker through December 22nd in conjunction with these guys. And then, of course, you know all of the different cryptos that you can use in order to wager on Terra Casino. So uh, sign up there today. Of course, we already talked about uh, if you want to do meme coins or anything like that, it's terraport.finance. Uh, my coin haul bag, as you can see right here, uh, cat with hat, now up to about 100. Uh, boys went back over 100, giving a, it, boys having a nice recovery, really, really nice recovery. Juris is up to 108, having a nice little run. Food is up. Um, now, Garuda X is down just a little bit. We're going to talk about them in just a second here because I got something for you. So, uh, but we're going to move this quickly. So, suffice to say, uh, we're getting a little bit of a, a movement here. Now, on Commonwealth, on Commonwealth, we've had updated links to CMC and other platforms. This is Vegas right here. Uh, now, improved decentralization by adjusting voting rights, removing USTC, and here it is right here. Currently, the Terra Classic ecosystem stands out as the only project ranked around 200 on Coin Market Cap without social links, a website, or an online presence. Over the past four days, we've received positive feedback from the community as many were initially concerned about the lack of central hub for information. Once they discovered our Telegram, Discord, and website, their satisfaction grew, highlighting how crucial these links are for our visibility. And for some reason, the validators, by the way, the validators that don't like that are furious that people can now easily find Luna Classic. And look, you might say to yourself, that's not why they're upset. They're upset because they bypassed the governance. Right. Why didn't governance do this two years ago? What are we hiding? What are we not? So, and here's the thing. Um, this is, uh, to address this, I propose that our community unite to submit a proposal for updating the coin market cap links to include our website, Discord, Telegram, GitHub, Explorer, Wallet, and more. If we can successfully update these links, we'll send a strong message to the outside community that we are a more vibrant and engaged than ever. And these are the proposed links. And then everybody can have their own, you can do your own decision. Decide for yourself whether or not you want to do it. It'll go through uh, governments. And it says, can we add a website, at least Lunk token? Uh, it's really frustrating that today we have no links on coin market cap. Look, guys, all this is true. Um, and now, since we got a lot, we got a lot of time. If everybody's passing governance, I, I agree. So here we are. Let's figure out what to do next. And uh, or 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 you can just keep crying about you don't like Vegas because that seems to be working and pumping the chart. But look. If you don't like Vegas, you're not going to like this proposal. If you like Vegas, you're going to like this proposal. Pretty much the end, right? Um, everybody's going to draw their sides. Everybody's going to be like, I'm, I'm either red or I'm blue or I'm green. Pick a color. Uh, everybody's going to complain. But at the end of the day, all you are doing with bitching, moaning, crying about one another is affecting everybody who's uh, an investor out here who just doesn't have the opportunity and can't affect change in this blockchain. The people that can affect blockchain are too busy fighting amongst themselves. So, you know, we'll see how this, we'll see how this goes. And by the way, uh, at the end of the day, even if they are fighting, if, if we will all come back together at some point. It's not together at this moment. So I don't really worry about that. And, but, and you know, also the people that, that don't get, they will end up going away because they'll get tired of it. So, um, price action. Uh, as far as price action goes, we're up about 2.5% today, but the market's up 2.7%. Uh, Bitcoin ripping uh, just went over 60, uh, 65000 a little while ago. We're not getting the bounce that we've been looking for. Now, we got the bounce off of this 382 back into the 236 range. Um, I do think that we come back up here for another big test. But, I mean, again, you know, we have to actually uh, come together and work together to, to make this thing happen. And we're not working together right now. So uh, that could change the trajectory. Um, I, I do think that we're still in line here, but you know, um, until we actually do something, we're not doing anything. As far as volume, we're at 40% on the day, but it's only 14.7 million. Uh, USTC, uh, 10 million of 34%. 
And now this is important right here. This is just somebody else, but we're going to do this. Luna Classic is primed for a massive breakout. Analysts predict a surge to three zeros twenty-four. Oh, analysts predict three zeros twenty-four. Why? Yes, we do. So people are seeing it, and they know that the opportunity exists here. We're, we're going to have a breakout. We're going to have a nice old three X breakout coming very, very soon. It's almost written in the stars. But now let's talk about. Uh, by the way, here's the the burns over the last couple of days. Just nothing significant when you look at it overall. Just about one hundred and seventy. Three million, but let's talk about today's project, and that today is Lunk Zombies. No, here is um, I'm on. This is a test account right here. There's the leaderboard. Now it asks you here to connect your wallet if you want to. Goes to the Garudaverse. Now here's the war map. I'm gonna click on that, and here we go. So all you do, uh, hold down the mouse button, and then boom. Now uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a, a I, I do have a. Uh, uh, NFT that makes me super strong in this game. I'm just not using it right now because I'm not connecting this. This is a test account, but uh, this is the game working for you guys to play if you are so inclined and wish to play. And we're going to take that down. By the way, I'm almost out of ammo, so that was a bad call to leave that running the whole time. Taking a lot of damage on that one. All right, guys, so go check that game out. Go check out uh, Lunk Zombies. It's at Big Bang x.io slash look up lunk zombies and go check it out now from october 11 to october 25 uh, there is a lunk zombies game tournament so if you are interested go follow lunk zombies on x and go check it out uh should be a lot of fun um but in the meantime this drama the drama fades over time so you know you can be upset like i can be upset about um, you know, I don't like the fact that we don't have a website or we don't have any socials. Like, I don't like those things. I think that's, you know, childish. I think we're, you know, that makes us look less than what we actually are. It's not professional. Um, how does a, how does a real developer, like you can complain about not having, um, you know, not having real developers here, but if you're the problem and you're not approving websites and stuff like, like if you, I mean, what are we doing? So, uh, but we'll all come back together. Uh, everybody's going to be crying right now. You might not like me because I said something bad about your boy, Jay. Uh, but, you know, I don't have a problem with Jay. I just think that, uh, that that this is misguided. And, by the way, I understand the need for, for, for governance, right? Uh, but I also understand the need for a steerage committee and a group of people who are pushing us in the right direction rather, rather than making everything about... Um, uh, it, it, each individual coming up with another proposal and another proposal and another proposal. Eventually, that means a leadership role. There has to be some sort of uh, push going forward, and there has to be a committee here that 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 puts us in the right headspace and puts us in the right direction for things to get better. Because if they don't, then for another two years, we still won't have a website. I mean, and, and by the way, you cannot like that. And that's fine. If you think that we shouldn't have a website, if you think uh, everything is fine, if you think that everything is absolutely grand and great and um, that, that this is just perfect, well, there's the chart. Chart should be up here. Chart's down here. So uh, you tell me what we should be doing. Anyway, guys, I know I took up a lot of your time today on a rant here. I apologize. But, you know, we got to figure something out here and we got to improve this everything that, that's in here and see where it goes. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.